The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily represent those of Access Fort Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting group. Access Fort Wayne is a department of the Allen County Public Library. If you or anyone you know might be interested in making a television show, please call 260-421-1250. Dr. Rudy Cashman, welcome to our show. This is the Mind, Body, Spirit show. Uh, this is going to be very interesting today. You know, it's, it's getting close to Christmas and soon it'll be New Year's. So I dressed up like Santa Claus a, a little bit. Uh, okay. <laughs> and uh, what I've taken here, I've written about six spoken words. That's poetry but giving information is used a lot by certain uh, communities. So I wrote about six of those, yeah, but it reviews uh, your wellness spirit. And this would be a, a really a nice thing for you to begin the new year uh, with, uh, you know, we all can use some uh, uh, better health habits or to uh, stop from getting some of the diseases of type 2 diabetes, complications of alcohol, or smoking, marijuana. <laughs> I, think, I think you'll kind of like this, actually, uh, uh, I believe. So let's start with the one smoking, OK? Uh, you know, we think about 20% uh, of the people are smoking, but I think it's a lot larger than that. I just uh, gave a 10-minute talk at a Christmas party at a factory uh, where uh, the uh, health nurse is telling me 70% of the people are smoking. Mm -hmm. That's concerning. Uh, and, and what does it do to anxiety, stress of life? But let's go through the spoken word. Let's have a little fun here today. Uh, and uh, so uh, I'm choking because you're smoking. A fast high, I'm in heaven. Anxiety. Fear, stress, relief, temporarily. The nicotine level goes down and boom, I get a light up again. Life's a mess. Everyone's life has some stress. No matter who you are, life is kind of like this, and then up and then down. So we need a quick fix. You need to find better quick fixes is the point. Seven seconds to the brain, so it's quick. You're smoking a cigarette or marijuana. It, it can be quick to, uh, to relieve pain, stress of life. A break at work with nicotine, dime a dozen. I've checked five different factories. 70% of the people are smoking, not 10, 15%. There's a reason. They're not feeling good. They're traveling down here. The, the thing is, it can lead to a lot of disease. So one cigarette can be a lifetime of addiction and affliction. Yeah, every day, hour, month, year. Just think of the cost. So joy is the answer. Joy is the answer. Joy is the answer, OK? Nicotine is more addictive than heroin and quicker. One cigarette and you become ad can become addicted. Pain in the brain and pocketbook. Thousand a month or more. They charge you more for health insurance. Uh, every 24 hours, 365 days a year, every few minutes, you get to light up again. You, I know people that get up in the middle of the night. I had one in the hospital every hour. He went on the staircase years ago where they allowed that. S smoke another cigarette. The road to hell for a spell. You're going into the abyss. 
roller coaster ride. Up and down we ride. Ken had, I feel great, I feel bad, I feel great, I feel bad. All your life, you want to be a slave to that thing? Chains, shackles, handcuffs. Where in hell? A burning fire. It's a fire going on in your body when, you, when you're smoking. You don't see it, but it is a, is a fire. A life of nicotine and its many chemicals. It's the chemicals that come with it that are even uh, uh, more uh, stressing. In 1910, you figured out if you put sh sugar in cigarettes, it opens up the alveoli, you can double the addiction rate. That's what happened. Actually, what happened? Now I find out, actually, when people do e-cigarettes, uh, for example, it has some sugar in them. Yeah. Very few people know that. So it's kind of like sugar, the booger, and the hooker. <laughs> Sugar's addictive, okay? And uh, so vaping is not escaping. You know, all the kids are vaping now. It's, it's not escaping. Uh, Jeweling is not cooling. It's fooling. It's fooling. You're a slave to nicotine, even if you're, vape, you're vaping. E-cigarettes leads to more addiction and to more friction. Maybe not as many chemicals, but you're still addicted to, ni to uh, uh, nicotine. And there's chemicals in there, too. Chemicals in there, too. So it's a monkey on my back, devil in my soul. Who's to blame but us? A lifetime of addiction and affliction. Our body's on fire, 300,000 miles of vasculature slowly burning, a slow burning fire, a slow burning fire, smoker's face. Yeah, I'm 40, but I look like I'm 60 because of the slow burning fire. Chemicals of smoking affect every one of our 70 trillion body cells. Every cell gets affected when you do this. Our pets get cancer, too, from singing day smoke. My smoking friend lost two dogs, and his parrot, that beautiful parrot, developed a tumor right here, and he's dead. And you know, my smoking friend is dead, too, yes. It's a true story, okay? Blindness, cataracts, stained teeth, missing teeth, yeah. Decreased hearing, cancer of the tongue and jaw. Yes, of the tongue. I know patients had to have their tongue removed, their jaw. When you see people have the you can, you can tell by looking at them, jaws missing, tongue is missing, heart attacks, strokes, cancer in any organ in the body, black tongue, black lungs, deaf lungs, emphysema, I can't breathe, I can't get the air, I'm using a cane, I'm in a wheelchair, I can't sing, I'm dying from frying. Lighting up to smoke is no joke. Avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. I stink. People try to avoid my house, which smells like a dead mouse. Secondary smoke is no joke. It can kill the family, children, relatives, neighbors, and pets. I have seen it. Years ago, I remember seeing this beautiful blonde lady with a pain in her tailbone. She was not a smoker. I thought, everybody thought it was a ruptured disc, but it was cancer spread from the lung. When her husband walked in, I could smell the smoke on his clothes. He couldn't walk down white one flight of stairs for him to show him the x-ray, and the lady was dead in months. I told him, I guarantee in his lifetime, he will never meet a beautiful lady like that again. This is a true story, okay? 
Employers don't want me because I smoke. They charge me more for health insurance. That costs another 250 bucks or more. Who wants to go out with a smoker? I don't date you, you smoke. Non-smokers don't date smokers. Babies are born addicted to nicotine. True, yeah. Can you imagine uh, uh, you and your boyfriend or husband and wife, whatever, uh, smoking, uh, and the baby is born addicted to nicotine and its chemicals? They can be overweight, underweight, increased rates of cancer in your child because you smoke. It's true. It, it, it's, absolutely, it's absolutely true, okay? Smokers also have high rates of alcohol and narcotic problems because they're addicted to addicts. You're an addict if you're smoking, okay? So increased rates of alcohol, opioids, marijuana in all its problems. I can't sell the house. I can't sell the house. Anything I own, it stinks. Clothing, furniture, pets, the carpet, the walls, everything smells like smoke. I visit my cousin's neighbors in Boston one time. Beautiful German couple, originally from Germany, so I enjoyed meeting them. But the whole house smelled like smoke. My cousin called me two years later. This beautiful couple, very intelligent, both dead. It's a true story. Who wants to ride with me in the car? Because of smoking. Who wants to dance with me? They smell the smoke. Okay? Avoid smoking. Avoid smoking. The cost. Easily a thousand extra a month for buying all the products of smoking. Look at all the clothes you gotta throw away. Can't sell it. Can't sell the house. Your health insurance costs more. Loss of wealth. Good health. If you're healthy, you got no money in the bank, but you're worth a million bucks. You're worth a million bucks. Yeah, or more. Drowning in medical bills, constantly on sick leave, poverty, poverty, poverty. In high dental bills, teeth just fall out, no doubt, because of vascular disease, because it's vasospasm in the gums. Children want to move out of the house because you're smoking. I never smoked. My father was a smoker. You know the day he quit? because he was on fire. He found himself on fire. That's the last day he smoked. He lived to age 89 because he quit, okay? Mates want to escape. Relatives don't want to visit. Friends don't want to visit. You don't ride in a car with a smoker because he smells so bad, okay? Just quit, just quit, just quit. Don't lead a life of denial and delusion. I was blind, but now I see. Smoke free for thee. A monkey off my back. I have my life back. My health can come back. Yeah. Nicotine addiction, it, people can improve if they stop. My family, my pets, my relatives that I love, going to live. So I respect my body. And my God, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. Shuffle along, shuffle along, shuffle along. I've been taking the road to hell. How could I even realize, for all I know how good it feels, I thought I found a friend. Habit that I adopt, dependence I cannot stop. Little did I know I've been on the road to addiction. No mercy, no conviction. Oh, how I wanted to fit in and to be cool. I let it in. I'm such a fool. For good times, for bad times, for every little bit of stress, I light up. We should sing and dance instead. Always reaching for that pretentious friend every few minutes. Did I even realize that every stick I burned, every puff I released is a slide to the abyss? Smoking is a cheat. It keeps stealing and it won't retreat. I'm done, I'm done, not even one. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, no longer a slave. 
Oh, what a beautiful day. <laughs> All right, I think you get the idea from the smoking. If you want a copy of this, because you would like it or have a friend that needs to read this, let me know, I'll get it to you, okay? So next, let's do one, because it's very common uh, on preventing uh, diabetes, type 2 diabetes, which is rampant. It has 50 diseases associated to it. Uh, they'll say, you know, heart attacks the most common cause of death. No, it's diabetes because it causes 55 diseases, and they are preventable. One out of two people in this area and in this country are pre-diabetic or diabetic, and all these complications of diabetes can occur in pre-diabetes too. And I'll describe that in the spoken word. Again, if you need a copy, uh, uh, let me know. So let's go over this. You'll find this uh, interesting too. If you don't have it, I'm sure you get a friend who's got it. We all do. I do. Start spreading the news. I'm sick and tired of it. Diabetes is diabolical, crippling, and deadly. I'm walking through the heart of it. I'll show you how to get rid of it. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Why, 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 get rid of it? It's a living hell. It's a living hell. Blindness, cataracts, dementia, yes, 70% of Alzheimer's disease and dementia is due to type 2 diabetes, so it's avoidable. Loss of speech, paralysis, loss of teeth, heart attacks and strokes and amputations, toes, feet, legs, renal or liver transplants, 30 years of disability, died 25 years too young, all from diabetes. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. My BMI is sky high. Being overweight is the com most common cause of it. So I might die. Wheat belly, beer belly, stress belly. You get a bit of a belly, or oh, you're pre-diabetic or diabetic. Judgment-free zone. Get the blood testing. Pear shape, apple shape. Apple shape is worse than pear shape because abdominal fat it is inflamed, more likely to have type 2 diabetes. We all hate, it's a cause of it. Judgment-free zone, okay? Our bodies are a temple of the Holy Spirit. Respect that. Respect your body, respect your body, but act on it, okay? God expects you to. Christianity will teach the Spirit of God is within you. You must respect it. Okay? Rudy's good news. Rudy's good news is it can be prevented, stopped, reversed, but eradicated. Don't medicate it. That medicine is important, but I, I see a lot of diabetic centers, it's the prescription to the ill. That's fine. But if you, you, on top of that, they need to teach you how, I want to get rid of my type 2 diabetes. That's what you get to tell the provider. Okay, a time is now, not next week, next month. Prevention is proven, powerful, and possible. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Heart disease and strokes are no joke. Memory loss, dementia, Alzheimer's disease are no breeze. Dialysis, paralysis are no fun. Amputation, dislocation, you may be done. Try walking on a dislocated jointed ankle. Try it. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Atherosclerosis, arteriosclerosis, 300,000 miles of capillaries circulating the blood, feeding the brain, pump the blood, feed the brain, avoid the pain, happiness, and health will be the new wealth. You're healthy, you're wealthy. You're worth millions when you're healthy. I know many multimillionaires in the city, probably almost 10 worth all kind of money, but they're unhealthy. They all got diabetes. And what do they do about it? Nothing. They eat out twice a day, and that's a big problem, okay? So avoid vascular disease. Avoid vascular disease. Our bodies are on fire, destroying our health. A hundred million people in this country probably are pre-diabetic, or diabetic, yeah. Pre-diabetic. 
But remember, all the complications can occur in prediabetes. We're blind to it. We have an inflammatory nation. Sugar is a booger and a hooker. <laughs> okay. Sugar is a lipinator. It makes us fat. 60 to 90,000 people have fatty liver, don't know it. They're going to need their liver transplant eventually because the sugar uh, gets converted to fat in the liver. We have a fat, fatty liver. It's the unfortunate thing. Kidney liver transplants are common in diabetes. All preventable, okay? Don't eat it, don't eat it, don't eat it. I'm talking about sugar, the booger, and the hooker, okay? Sugar is white, sweet, addictive, and deadly. It, sugar, sugar, I love you, <laughs> okay? Saccharin disease to please. Judkin and Cleave, two, two doctors, in the 1970s described sugar is the, pro is the problem. Said it was deadly, but the fat theory of disease went out. 50 years, Harvard, uh, NIH, the government told us that the, the problem was the fat. <laughs> oh, wrong. It was the sugar, and they knew it too. They did it because they get a lot of money uh, from industry. Yeah. And it still goes on today. Still goes on today. We support the price of fructose corn syrup, which is deadly. Mm -hmm. That's a true story. That's a true story. It still goes on today. The government, maybe they don't care. Maybe it's just the money, okay? And uh, the government, the CDC, NIH, American Heart Association, and Ansel Keys promote the fat theory of disease. Sugar, fructose, and omega-6 fats are deadly. Deadly, deadly, deadly. Fructose corn syrup paid for by the government. Franken syrup, sweet, cheap, deadly, where fruct and cooked by our government. Mm -hmm. True story. I stand behind it. You want to read books about it? I'll, I'll show you the books. Dr. Lustig says, Robert Lustig, a pediatric endocrinologist in California, he says, we are not fit to eat. Mm -hmm. So many poisons in our body. Fructose is the evil twin. If you take sucrose, we have glucose and fructose, okay? Fructose goes straight to the liver, turns into fat. So we're we eating the, fat, the sad diet, fat, salt, and sugar, sugary drinks. That's 50% of being overweight, okay? You can call it liquid, white gold. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Sugar addiction and habituation, it's the Lex Luthor, okay? The best part of desire, it's a quick fix. If my house says a donut tonight after a busy day of me doing all this, which I don't allow in the house, but if it's there, I'll be eating it, okay? And uh, so sugary drinks, get rid of them. Water, lemon, and lime, that's your liquid. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Sugar addiction and habituation, the Lex Luthor. Avoid it, avoid it. Sugar is the hooker, fructose the evil twin, avoid it to be sin. <laughs> Knowledge is everything. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Nutrient dense, foods of color, not hard to swallow. That's what you need, no diet. Eat foods of color, add mushrooms and onions, they have no color, but full of vitamins, minerals, phytochemicals that are healthy. No diet, eat right and you'll be tight, okay? The mosaic, the rainbow, the music, the symphony of interaction of these nutrients will get you well. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Fat's not all bad, so sad. Sugar is the enemy at the gate. That's what we hate. Omega-3, the good fats, are what we need. Olives, guacamole, nuts, full of good fats, okay? Eat right, eat right. Salad, complex carbs, lean meat, Rudy's plate, no diet, no diet, okay? One half vegetables, one quarter lean meat of any. I'm not that, that hot on uh, meat. You can get all the protein you need from vegetables, actually. One quarter whole grain. Pick up the beet, take the heat. <laughs> enjoy it, enjoy it. Food restriction will not do it. Eat nutrient dense without suspense. Watch the fingers, the forks, and move the feet. Foods of color are your mother, <laughs> okay? Lose 10% of your blubber and you'll be well. Type your diabetes, goodbye. It's usually 10% body weight will do it. Do it, do it, do it. Give me a break. Delusion, denial is not for me. Live to be 100. 
25 BMI is the number. Less pills to the ill. Just taking pills will not solve this problem. You must act to eat better, exercise a little more, okay? Commit, concentrate, and continue. Do it, do it. It's a golden opportunity. Kill prediabetes and diabetes, proper testing, yearly screening, fasting blood sugar, serum insulin. The serum insulin that pushes the sugar into the cell is the first thing to go up. The most of the time, they'll order glucose tolerance tests and, oh, your fasting blood sugar is normal. Uh, you don't have prediabetes. If you're overweight, you've got prediabetes. Like I said, if you've got a pot belly, odds are you're prediabetic. There are a few exceptions, but not many. Okay? And uh, a gluten test is important, and I'm not, uh, I read a book about milk by whitewashed by Joe Keon. If you drink milk after that, I'll be surprised. But I don't want you to get another opinion by reading this book, okay? So nuts and beans will slim your genes. Fiber is your friend in the end. Because you're eating a lot of fibrous foods, that's compact sugars, uh, they'll not be digested, they leave in the stool, and so you're eating a lot of calories by not gaining weight because the body can't break it down. You are really what your biome is. Those trillions of bacteria that live in your gut, they run the metabolism of your body. And, that, and, and the lifespan of one bacteria, 20 minutes, of one, the one cell layer of your mu mucosa in your gut, 24 hours. So if you get type 2 diabetes, if you eat right, Probably within a week, your blood sugars will be normal. Yeah, not years. Yeah, yes. Very quickly, your blood sugars will drop. You'll need to increase your blood testing, okay? And uh, beans, mushrooms, salads, onion, nuts, they are the way. You'll be slim. You'll be slim. <laughs> You'll be slim. Five steps to health. Five to ten years. That's prediabetes, okay? Insulin resistance, step one, where you can't get the sugar in because the receptors on your cells are filled with triglycerides. That's called insulin resistance, okay? And now, that's the beginning of the path. Elevated, but if they'll check your blood sugar. It's not, you're not diabetic. If you're overweight, a lie, a lie, a lie. But if you check the serum insulin, it will be elevated. Chronic disease developing, your body's on fire. So you get insulin resistance. Insulin cannot get the sugar in. A roller coaster ride with sugar. Things are speeding up. Okay, HbA1c tests the sugar over a three month period. Uh, that's important, but it's not as good uh, as a glucose tolerance test and a serum insulin. Uh, and, and there are five stages to diabetes, but we're diagnosing people at stage four or so. Stage five is the end, renal transplants amputations uh, when you could have been caught a lot earlier. Okay, opportunity, opportunity. Avoid sitting disease. We're sitting too much. Amusing and dancing are enhancing. Walk 30 minutes a day. Keep the doctor away. Walk a mile with a smile and sing a song like I do. Okay, and uh, walk, lift your feet, sing a song. Baby, it's cold right side. Glad you dropped in. <laughs> okay. And uh, I beg you, I beg you, I beg you. You can if you think you can. Church groups and friends are the secret sauce. Love is the answer. Love is action. Love never dies. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and uh, a way of understanding the disease, and you don't have to read a book. Just do what I ask you to do. If you want a copy, see me at the Three Rivers Pharmacy. We'll get you a copy or one of my lectures uh, will get you a free copy of that PowerPoint. Uh, the next one I would like to go over, we got about six, I'll try to get through three or four. Sitting disease, you hear a lot about that now, okay? Uh, and it, it's the new smoking. You, you sit more than two hours, it's like smoking a pack of cigarettes, scientifically proven, okay? Sentence to the chair, the modern plague, it's a killer. It's like smoking a pack of cigarettes. Yeah. Sitting leads to an inflammatory body. 300,000 miles of capillaries are inflamed. Because mm -hmm. you sit more than two hours, it turns off the sugar and fat enzyme, cuts it in half, inflames your body. Turns off LPL enzymes, lipoprotein lipase, 
which decreases fat and sugar metabolism. That's what the lipase does. And guess what? You gain weight. You're sitting a lot, you're going to gain weight. That's loss of gravity. It rules the world. Gravity rules everything. Yeah. When you stand up, for example, that triples the calorie burn. Okay? What we, ha what we are having, in essence, in our lives is gravity pause. You know, we hear of menopause, well, gravity pause. You're sitting so much more. So we're losing the effects of gravity. Uh, and uh, we're like smoking cigarettes, our bodies are uh, inflamed. Our gravitation based on rent muscle fibers are turned off. Mm -hmm. That's why exercise is important. We lose the calorie burn of 50 calories per pound of muscle daily. If you're using a, a pound of muscle will burn at rest 50 calories a day. Mm -hmm. So the more muscles you got, that, that freebie calorie loss. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's important as we get older to, to, to do mild weightlifting, perhaps. And uh, walk, walk, dance, prance, and vibrate. Yeah. Affected by gravity. Stand up. That's 1G. That's 1G. Okay? Jump. That's 6G. We're measuring gravity here. Okay? Go to the moon. Uh, there, there's less gravity, 0.3G. So when the astronauts came back, they looked like storks. Because they were not, for one thing, they're traveling in space. For another, they're, they are on the moon, exposed to very little gravity, and the muscles just went away. Yeah. Astronauts came back looking like storks, no muscles. Ancients were movers. They were movers. Homo erectus, that they would walk and run. They walk across the world. Now we have Homo centenarius. They're sitting down all the time. We're not walking anymore. So Rudy's good news, Rudy's good news, increase your activity, your AOL, walk and lift at work. If you increase your activity at work, you're burning a lot of calories, you're, you're building uh, uh, muscles. Then you don't have to do it when you come home, okay? Don't accept sitting at work and at home. They have stand-up desks, vibratory desks now, a computer desk where you stand up while you're using a computer. Uh, that's why they have those. You hear about them. I know of one insurance company in town. They have about 12 uh, uh, stand-up desks and, and, uh, and people who are typing all day, sitting all day, are standing up to do their work. You don't have to do it all day. But part of the day, I think it's a wonder, wonderful uh, uh, thing. And uh, walk and lift at work. Maybe give some, uh, some weights under the desk or walk during the lunch hour, for example. And uh, we lose 2,000 calories burned by sitting all day. Yeah. So it's 2,000 more calories that you have. You can increase this calorie burn by standing up or walking, uh, uh, for, for example or gain 2,000 calories in weight. 3,500 calories equal one pound. So if you increase your work activity, your activity of living, AOL, 200 calories a day at work, when you divide that into 3,500 calories per pound, 365 days a year, you lost 20 pounds in a year doing nothing except, increase, except uh, increasing your movement at work, okay? So, and that leads to sugar belly, wheat belly, stress belly, beer belly, marijuana belly, Diabetes and it's 50 diseases. You want to die 25 years younger? Sit around. Gain weight. Get diabetes, which include blindness, heart attacks, strokes, amputations, liver disease, kidney disease. So what's one of the best measurements for uh, pre-diabetes or diabetes? A belly measurement. Yeah. Well, that, uh, that if, if you get belly fat, you're probably pre-diabetic. Don't accept your doctors. Oh, your blood sugar is normal. Uh, you don't have pre-diabetes, baloney, baloney, baloney. There are a few exceptions, but not many. So what about the answer? Eat foods of color, mushrooms, beans, onions, 75% of the time. Increase your activity of living, which we spoke about. You know the term now. Fiber is your friend, comes out in the end. <laughs> because it's complex sugars, they don't get digested. Uh, so it's not calories in, calories out, because those calories came in. But they went out without being, you, you don't uh, count those because you didn't digest those, okay? Increase your activity of living. Uh, don't, don't eat it if it has a mother or a face. A lot of animal products. 
uh, very unhealthy for the cancer factors, insulin growth factors. Uh, and uh, so the mosaic, the symphony, the rainbow of interaction of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals lead to great health. Foods of color are your mother. Use a treadmill or stand-up desk to increase walking or standing at work. 200 calorie loss daily leads to 20 pound weight loss in a year. Isn't that wonderful? Rudy's good news, okay? So the thermic effect of food, calories loss in metabolism. Uh, if you eat high fiber foods, remember I said that many are not digested, so you take in 1,000 calories of high dense fiber foods like uh, not animal meats, they have no fiber. I'm talking about plants, okay? You may lose 30, 40 percent of the calories which you took in come out in the stool. So you're, you're, lo you're losing weight, okay? Uh, and uh, so in fat, only 4 percent uh, is used up metabolism. 96 percent of the energy from fat is in your belly or buttocks in four hours. Olive oil, four minutes. To use a little olive oil, tablespoonful, okay, it's healthy. So uh, uh, vegetables and fruit is 30% fiber, and that metabolized come out in the end. Yeah, 30% is fiber. You know, 1,000 calories of fruits and vegetables, uh, uh, you'll only take into the body maybe 700, 300 or loss on your stool. So fruits of color are your mother. <laughs> okay. Don't eat anything that has a mother or a face. Respect all life. That's the reason I say you have trouble stopping eating animal products. Just read about or think about what that animal has to go through to make its way on your plate. I've read those books. I couldn't kill a mouse, so I don't eat about meat, you know, a little bit, but not a lot. I didn't say be a vegan or vegetarian. I said cut back on it because of insulin growth factors, which help cancers grow uh, because of uh, uh, chemicals in there that help increase rates of uh, cancer, uh, a lot of cholesterol and fat uh, in, in meats. So if you eat steak seven days a week, you're not going to be healthy, okay? Increased rates of cancer. So sitting, if you sit all day, you're gaining about 2,000 calories a day. Mm -hmm. To come out even, you have, would have to eat that much less. Watch, uh, watching TV, you burn five calories an hour. Standing triples calorie burn. The phone rings, stand up, okay? Because you're using your muscles, remember? Walk, you lose about 100, 150 calories per hour walking or more. Use stairs, uh, use the stairs, park far away. These all, all increase your activity of living and do some exercise daily. So in the Industrial Revolution uh, took our legs away. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Se we have a sedentary nation, okay? We have a nation of people on canes, walkers, and wheelchairs. Look around, look around, look around. Yeah. Go to some of these markets that the wife's going shopping, and I sit there in the car waiting for her to come back, and I see the disability sh section. Yeah, it, it's a horror story, a horror story of people eating the wrong food, buying the wrong food, and, and now uh, we have lines of disability spots, 90% self-induced illnesses. They're living in denial and delusion, okay? Open your eyes, be not surprised. Don't live in denial and delusion. Look in the mirror, visualize a change if needed. Say, hey, I gotta lose 50 pounds, look at the eyes, and if you see every day in the mirror, you can make it happen if you act on it, okay? And uh, so if I rule the world, every day would be a new beginning. <laughs> Raindrops are falling on my head, but there's a song in my heart. Gravity can be a friend. Everything is gravity. Colorless, tasteless, you can't see it. It may rule the world, but I can move and beat it. <laughs> we can develop good G habits. AOL activities, living habits, activities of movement leads to great health. Live to be a hundred, stand up, stand up, stand up, tap dance with me. <laughs> I take tap dance lessons every week at Sweetwater and uh, from Sheree Key from China, and I love it. Thank you for, for listening to it. So sitting disease is real. I wrote a book on it. You can go to Amazon Books, and you'll find books on these subjects too. Uh, but if you want this 
spoken word sometime, uh, find me at the Three Rivers Pharmacy or during one of my lectures at Lutheran Hospital. And you can see all my TV shows, incidentally, on uh, YouTube, Rudy Cashman, 500 shows easily, all for free, how to get healthy. Isn't that great news? Yeah. Uh, the next one uh, here, uh, let's, let's do sugar. <laughs> What's it all about? A lie. Okay? The creator of this theater is the sun. Mm -hmm. Photosynthesis, electrical energy of the sun, that brings the energy to us, okay? Combines with the CO2 of the air, the water of the ground, the green leaf, which has chlorophyll in it already, makes oxygen and sugar, and some plant fats, some good fats the source of our energy, the original source of our food. Plants have it, then we eat the plants. The animal eat the plants, then we eat the animal. So the sun is the source of our energy, okay? And now, in the 1700s, we used to eat about five pounds of sugar, now greater than 200 pounds a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The result, energy-dense population. Look around, look around, look around you, okay? Inflammatory nation. Our 300,000 miles of blood vessels are inflamed. The chronic, slow-burning fire, 60 chronic diseases that are killing us, all preventable. Dementia, strokes, blindness, retinal disease, cataracts, th thyroid uh, uh, disease, multiple dental diseases, infected and lost teeth, heart attacks and extensive vascular disease, liver and renal uh, disease, Biggest cause of renal transplants, extremity dislocations, amputations, cause of 50% of the cancers, at least in many other illnesses. Remember Queen Victoria had all black teeth. What do you think it was from? She could afford the sugar. The rest of the people were lucky. They didn't, couldn't get the sugar. So sugar is indeed the booger and the hooker. More addictive than cocaine. That's our pain. Fructose corn syrup, almost in every fast food invented by the Japanese, supported by our government, supports the price of sugar, fructose corn syrup, and still does. So the government supports the price, and that's not nice. Dr. Lustig says, we're not fit to eat our own bodies. Okay. Sucrose is 50% glucose, 50% fructose, C6H12O6. One molecule difference than cocaine, yeah, chemically, very similar. The effects are similar to our brain. In the 1600s, sugar was the king, was the food of kings and queens, and most were overweight. The poor could not afford it, and were healthy. Yeah. Slave trade made it cheaper. That's the reason they developed the slave trade, because sugar in England was getting to, to be too expensive. So they, ensl they enslaved it. Uh, the black population, and then others too, and took it to the, uh, the uh, uh, colonies uh, to, make, to make it cheaper because the slaves worked for nothing. Interesting enough, many of them, they s starved them, so they ate sugar cane, which changed their genetic structure. So now the, the previous slave uh, population have much higher rates of diabetes because their genetic has changed. They especially should not be eating sugar products, which unfortunately they are. Uh, another enslavement, really. Yeah, it's another enslavement, and no one's being frank about it. I am, certainly. Uh, and teaching them to eat differently, which I do uh, uh, regularly. And uh, so the slave trade made sugar cheaper. Columbus brought sugar plants and beets to the United States. Mm -hmm. So you can get sugar from beets, and, uh, which was discovered in France and Germany in 1700s or so. So sugary plants came from New Guinea in Asia originally, to China, to India, the Middle East. The Crusades brought them back to Europe. Mm -hmm. Beets came from Germany and France. Napoleon made beets economical. He, he established uh, outside Paris, about six major uh, businesses uh, uh, 
for beets because he couldn't get, because the war could not get sugar from England. Uh, so uh, he brought beets back from Germany to France and, and, and uh, popularized it. Napoleon uh, made beets economical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A, a peculiar evil sugar is the road to hell. Sugar causes rise in insulin. Remember the guy that brings sugar into the cell? Causes dementia, high insulin growth factors, which advance glycation products, which lead to increased rates of cancer. Uh, the IDE enzyme is used uh, by insulin. Uh, IDE enzyme degrades insulin, okay? Then it's all used up, but this other job of the IDE enzy enzyme is to degrade amyloid in the brain, and when that doesn't get degraded, you get Alzheimer's disease, the biggest cause of dementia and Alzheimer's disease, type 2 diabetes. It isn't some rare drug some pharmaceutical company is going to discover, but they kind of act like they don't know that. We have to spread that word. You don't want dementia, don't get diabetes. Uh, incidentally, large people have, have smaller brains, scientifically studied. Yeah, bigger people have smaller brains. It's been scientifically uh, uh, proven. Just like people who consume a lot of alcohol, mm -hmm. a sugar, uh, so it, it shrinks the brain. I, I treated a lot of people who drank too much. As a neurosurgeon, the brain was off the skull that much. It, it, it shrank it from alcohol, which is a sugar. So in the U.S., 40 to 50 million people in the U.S. at least are pre-diabetic. 150 million are pre-diabetic, but 40, 50 million are diabetic. It's a world epidemic, though, world. Sugar and bad fats are the cause of it. Omega-6 fats, not the good omega-3 fats. Largely preventable, stoppable, reversible. Isn't that wonderful news? So for 50 years, NIA, CDC, ADA, Anthro Keys told us, falsely told us that fat was the problem. Well documented, many books, okay? In the scientific literature, it was all a lie. And they knew it too. Caused a lot of disability and deaths and, and still does. Shameful, shameful, shameful. We have an inflammatory nation, but it's all over the world, frankly. Sugar substitutes, sucrose, cyclamate, stevia, many 50 to 500 times sweeter than sugar, affect our brain and gut, leading to habituation, dependency, and addiction, okay? Actually, the, the sugar substitutes uh, change our brain and our gut uh, and are not healthy. They're just like drinking sugar in, in, a, in a Coke, for example. So wheat belly, beer belly, pear shape, apple shape, stress belly, we all hate, judgment-free zone, okay? 50% of us overweight, we all, and we have prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. Many undiagnosed, incorrectly tested. Prisoners of the industry, prisoners of the industry, prisoners of the industry, it's about the money, honey. It's about the money, yeah. The road to hell, not just for a spell. Blindness, sudden death, amputation, dislocations, liver transplants, renal transplants, decades of serious disability and suffering, and then you die 25 years earlier than you should. Mm -hmm. Early testing is the key. I recommend starting at age one, yes. Put it in a computer or in a book, record it year after year. You'll catch it very early, and you will have healthy children. Uh, yesterday, I went to Starbucks, do my usual writing there, and I saw a mother uh, uh, overweight in her four or five-year-old overweight walking out with these big sugary uh, coffees. I, I cried. I cried. They don't see it. I don't blame them. And I don't blame the industry. I, I blame us, maybe providers, schools, for not teaching people uh, that's not the way you should be eating. It's a culture. So early testing is the key, not being done. I recommend starting at age one. If you have belly fat, you're probably pre-diabetic. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Prove it to me that you're not, okay? So serum insulin level is more important than blood sugar and testing, HbA1c, raises late in the disease. That's important, that HbA1c, that's a glycation product, about three months of blood sugars, 
but you can catch it earlier than that, okay? Knowledge is everything. Participate in your health care. Sugary drinks cause 50% of the weight problems. Read Dr. Mark Hyman's How to Speak to Your Doctor. You can print it off the internet. Mark Hyman, uh, How to Speak to Your Doctor, 70 pages. You can print it off the internet free. At least I did. Maybe they're charging you now. It teaches the tests to get. Or you can pick up a one-sheet thing that says the same thing at the Three Rivers Pharmacy where I give it out free, or at my lectures where I give it out free. And uh, so, uh, incidentally, one cigarette has a quarter teaspoon of sugar in it. That's how they addict you. It doubles the addiction rate. How does anybody know that? That's, a, that's in Gary Taub's book, uh, Gary Taub's book, uh, The Case Against Sugar, that book, pretty thick. Uh, so the sugar in cigarettes makes the smoke acidic that allows the nicotine to get into the bloodstream to cause the addiction. That's walls, all cigarettes have sugar in them. Very few people know that. I speak, rarely speak to a provider who knows that. And a sugar addiction can be a terminal affliction. The quick fix, I'm in heaven. Craving, habituation, tolerance, tolerance uh, uh, addiction. The hedonic pathway, if you can detox in a few weeks, okay? Eat foods of color, fruit, vegetables, 20% organic meat, and, and you'll probably be on your feet quickly. Type 2 diabetes can be reversed in a matter of weeks, just a few weeks, 90% of the time. Much scientific research and books support it. I've read most of them. My basement's got on 1,200 books. Look at my Facebook, Cashman Facebook, uh, or uh, uh, YouTube, Rudy Cashman. All 500 TV shows easily will, sh will show up for free, okay? Uh, so remember I said sugar raises the insulin level. Uh, it, but it does a lot more things. Besides bringing sugar into the cell, it causes dementia, deposits advanced glycation products all over your body, the heart, the brain, the joints. A lot of arthritis is due to type 2 diabetes. It makes an anabolic hormone, which makes you fat. Yeah, these insulin shots people get, they get heavier yet, make things worse. So if you eat right and exercise right, you'll need the least insulin necessary, even a type 1 diabetic who has no insulin, okay? Type 2 diabetic has insulin for a while until the pancreas does so much work and it just dies. Now you're type 1 or type 2, okay? And uh, I recommend to people to have a smoothie a day of vegetables and fruit every day, but check the blood sugar if you're diabetic. Smoothie a day may keep the doctor away. It, it satisfies your nutrient need. You won't be as hungry. And uh, eat food, not too much, mainly plants, Michael Pollan would say. If I ruled the world, we'd be eating nutrient-dense food full of vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals, and live to be 100. <laughs> okay. And uh, let's go through uh, maybe uh, one more, I think, all we have time for. And, uh, and, uh, and, and that one is uh, walking in nature. I think I have one, uh, one, one uh, in here. Uh, I take a walk uh, every morning uh, in nature, and I kind of identify with it. And I think that might be a good, good thing for you, for you to uh, to uh, try because it's 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 relaxing, and I like you to look at the plants and look at the trees, uh, uh, and uh, and we'll get through part of this I think in the, in the, in this time here, and I and, and here we start spoken word forest. Bathing, the Japanese use this term. Uh, what a wonderful world. It might as well be spring. The falling leaves pass my face. Raindrops are falling on my head. But I have a smile on my face. Snowflakes pass by my window. I enter the forest for relaxation and meditation to get rid of the stress and do away with the daily mess. I hear a whispering breeze. It's a tease, makes me at ease. A red-winged blackbird greets me with it. <whistles> and he comes closer. He wants to land on my head, true love. A red cardinal with a fancy hat <laughs> sings to me clearly, wants to chat. <laughs> it's true. 
I sing back. But he's not impressed. <laughs> I see trees of green and red roses too. They're blooming for me and for you. The leaves of the cotton tree waving, dancing, and prancing. In the wind and the cotton is flowing by with a beautiful sky. Looks like snow, but it's only spring. I saw it last spring. I tiptoe, slowly advance, walk, not to destroy anything in nature. I wish I could be like a butterfly that's circulating my body. A canopy of blues and paints and whites and browns like a mosaic of color fluttering along with a splendor once even on my hat. <laughs> I see hundreds of daisies, symmetrical petals. The dandelion is mine covering the field. Goldenrods, milkweed, sunflowers, orchids, milkweed and mistletoe and poison ivy too. Barley and wheat are a treat. Yes, even marijuana, but it's not for me and for you. <laughs> I'm walking over the three-leaf clover, occasionally one with four leaves. Lucky for me, I w make a wish. The red buds are blooming and honeysuckle too. An explosion of color and aroma. The air is healing with phytochemicals, plant chemicals, truly feeling and appealing and healing. And with that, I'm running out of time to complete this. <laughs> but we got through uh, most of them. Thanks for listening. Uh, but uh, this will be on a TV show, 6 o'clock next Friday, Comcast 57. Listen to it again, because most of all, you follow these health habits and the spoken word. You ain't got to read a lot of books. <laughs> I made it fun for you. I make it fun for you. I encourage you uh, listening to this. And I'll probably uh, will make a DVD, a video out of it, so you could play it again or, or watch it again. Or go to YouTube in about uh, two weeks. It should be on there. Rudy, YouTube, Rudy Cashman, this show will be on there. And you can watch it for free. And I hope next year you become ver very healthy. What I'm saying is it's not that hard. And it makes you feel good. Uh, you, you feel better. You'll be smiling and, and dancing every day <laughs> a little bit. And teach your kids. Uh, that's important to give uh, a lot of sugary products to our children, and and and, and the, they have increased rates of cancer and bad health. Don't do that. Uh, we all love our we all love our children. I know we do. So this is, you know, a judgment-free zone. Things I've spoken about, I didn't always know them. I just know it now. So if I act a little bit of passionate about it, well, so be it. <laughs> you can uh, follow me. See me personally at the Three Rivers Pharmacy at Lufthansa Hospital. I give a lecture once a month. Facebook cash when the dates are on there. Then I do uh, public access TV and radio 95.7. And I thank public access uh, for giving uh, me this opportunity to kind of live my dream to educate uh, the public. And, uh, and, uh, and I will admit, I really enjoy doing this today. It's nice to uh, to have a little smile, a little poetry, dance a little, and make you healthier. I did this because I love you. I care about you. I am a doctor. Uh, I hope I run across you. Give me a hug. <laughs> make my day. <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot.